if you're watching this, I hope you have a good day or night, whatever the time is where you are. <laughs> what is night and day? Anyway, I, I, but this is, I'm reading more shitty art, shitty poetry, because that's my art, but this is more of a prose, but it has a little beat to it, I just wrote it, um, I hope you like it, it's kind of self-deprecating, I think that's okay, um, it's called Trust. I'm searching for the truth, but I trust no one, not even Descartes, not I. My thoughts bridge the gap between hack and societal bullshit and spiritual insanity. I know the rules. I don't want to follow them. I've yet to find anyone to talk to who thinks quite like me. I don't often look for people to talk to. My cat gets it, but he doesn't live in the ambiguous and overtly incomprehensible land of human misconception. There's not much else for him to get but it, aka the state of being. I think too much. In searching for the truth, I've lost it. I hang my head in shame, expecting someone to come lambast me. No soul knows enough to do so. It's a crying shame to be a suicidal freak. I suffer a state of awareness beyond that of normal wills. Would I want it differently? Would I not always yearn for an understanding of the truth, even if I didn't hold it precariously in my hands from time to time? It would be an ineffable loss to kill a determinedly enlightened freak. Once in a blue moon do the conditions come around to cause such a monstrous manic fool. I am an artist. I am but a small piece of a universal, universal dance from which none can escape. Tonight I felt nature's embrace, walking across my apartment complex to dispose of my cat shit to a chorus of pond critters under a gentle rain. The city doesn't feel alive like this. It's alive in a different sort of way, alive with hacking societal bullshit and human misconception. People bustling from place to place, neglecting the man selling spare change. It isn't his fault they pass him by, but his conditions. Fear is the mind killer, and fear facilitates the bustle. I am more afraid to live than I am afraid to die. I used to be under the impression that they went hand in hand, and that losing my fear of death would embolden me to be free. I pity myself for taking up space. I'm a horrible waste of it. Thinking so doesn't support my case for requiring the air with which to breathe. I wish I had confidence. Something to hold on to when the roller coaster of life takes a terrifying 180 degree plunge. Confidence is a lie, and I only wish to speak the truth. I suppose knowing I desire truth should give me confidence. Only it's that with which we desire which eludes me. This is called Who Are You? It's a poem. It's not prose. It's pretty shitty. But most of my art is. I'm an anarchist, but I pay my taxes. I pay beggars too. Money is nothing to someone imbued. Brahmin heaven is a place on earth with you. The Tao pervades us, holy muse.